What are your favourite toys to play with at home, Matthew? Lego. I like playing with small Lego. We can make different kings out of it. Soldiers in style. I like playing with Lego because you don't have the redistructions. You can make anything. I like playing with jigsaw puzzles because I like doing it. I like playing with Ben and Ruby, they're my dolls, and my friends, and my teddies. You know, AI, it's uh, software, it's algorithms, it's going to be applied to everything. And it will be regulated by the car manufacturers as they put it into their brands and their cars. And the legal frameworks, will the cars drive well? Will the self-driving uh, driving car be bug-free? And, you know, there's already legal frameworks to address those kind of questions. And one by one, industry by industry, AI will become part of it as we make everything smarter in the process. So, you know, fundamentally, regulating AI, I think it's a silly idea. First, impossible, and second, it will have its natural embodiment in essentially every industry that we know today. If somebody is just a blank slate and they're not really giving you anything, you're much less likely to engage with them. So we're working to change by behavior by engaging the user. And how do we engage the user? Well, one way to engage someone is by getting them to like you, by having fun, by disarming them. Okay, okay so yeah, Google, yeah. turn to white, hey Google, Google, turn two lights to yellow. Hello. You got it, changing three lights to yellow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey Google, sing happy birthday. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to the most amazing person in the universe. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Yay. Yay! Play lullaby music. Oh, hey Google, play lullaby music. All right, try this radio mix from Google Play Music based on the Loki Lullabies playlist. And he's happy. <laughs> then it's time to start thinking about building a relationship. And building a relationship between a robot and a user or an AI assistant and a user is similar to building a human relationship. Trust is super, super important in any relationship. Um, whether it's a relationship that you're building between characters on screen, whether it's a relationship you're forging with someone you just met in your uh, 18th century literature class, whether it's someone that um, you've known for a really long time, trust is very, very important. And building trust is something that's hard to do, um, especially when you're dealing with one element that isn't human and one element that is human. Uh, Why does the football told me the, the joke. Because Alexa told me the joke. Told me the joke. Alexa, play Fatty on my keys. I can't find the song Body on my keys. Fatty on my I can't find the song BNB. Alexa, play Fatty on my keys. Alexa, play Fatty on my keys. Here's a station you might like. Chris Tomlin. Fire all my keys. Like that, where I told you, must at me, no ma'am. Like that, play happy and you know it. Playing happy from Despicable Me 2. Like that, play happy and you know it. If you're happy and you know it, by the Kaboomers. Alexa, can you talk like a pirate? Well, shiver me timbers. Ask me for a pirate joke or I'll make you walk the plank. Arr! Shiver me timbers. Alexa, how did the Amazons make you? Well, you know, I was here for a debate, right? Is technology good for all? And uh, as I describe it, you know, we have the uh, four superpowers today. We have uh, cloud, right? Unlimited scale, mobile, unlimited reach. 
AI, intelligence to everything, and IoT, bridging the physical to the digital world. Hey Google, what day is it today? It is Saturday, the 10th of June, 2017. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I don't have enough time to play because um, I like playing really much and I don't want to go in. I don't have enough time to play because I have to do my homework and lots of other stuff. Yeah, I have loads of time to play. After my homework I have like three hours. I don't have enough time to play because my mom and work. We need to be discerning about which technologies we will allow our children to be exposed to because these technologies have the power to shape the thoughts, emotions, and actions of the future generations.